Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. El Sayad. I'm a radiology consultant working in the UK. Today I'm going to share with you a very interesting case of right shoulder pain of a young male patient. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because the abnormality on this radiograph is quite subtle and has been missed a couple of times. And I thought it's better to share it with as much as possible uh, with many other radiologists, uh, trainees and registrars so we don't form the same trap. So this is a a radiograph of the right shoulder. This was reported as normal as the abnormality wasn't picked on the initial interpretation. Uh, but there is a significant abnormality there. And the way that you avoid to miss any abnormalities is to have a structured way of looking at any radiograph. I would start by looking at the acromioclavicular joint to make sure there is no any abnormality there or degeneration and look at the glenohumeral joint for any calcification, soft tissue or irregularity. Or look for calcification in the most common and famous place of supraspinatus tendinosus along the superior lateral aspect of the humeral head. So we can't see an abnormality there. So now I haven't seen anything clear and significant. Then I will go and look at the bone or follow the borders. Make sure the borders are clear with no associated periosteal reaction. And you can see there the humeral head is nice and smooth with no calcification or periosteal reaction. Now, if you go and follow the acromion all the way down to the scapula, again, all looks good. And if you follow the clavicle, it looks nice and clear here, but as you go medially, you can see slight indistinct periosteal reaction and slight fuzziness of the cortex of the clavicle at this point. Of course, when you see periosteal reaction there, you need to look further for soft tissue. And in fact, if you look further, you can see a subtle soft tissue thickening there around the clavicle. When you see such an abnormality, you have to give a differential, so it depends on the clinical presentation. This could actually be an inflammatory process, infection, or could be a tumor or metastasis. We can't really tell by just looking at the x-ray. Because this was uh, missed initially, so the patient went and had an ultrasound scan to look what's causing the pain. So this demonstrated an irregularity of the clavicle there with associated uh, minimal periosteal reaction and soft tissue thickening there. But I think you can see the abnormality more on MRI where you see extensive bone edema seen involving the clavicle with associated periosteal action and even muscle edema there. There's no actual mass lesion, but I think this again falls into a differential. Don't forget that you need to look at review areas when you look at any radiograph. And for right shoulder or any shoulder radiograph, the review area would be the lung apex and we should look for any soft tissue thickening on any mass lesions. I hope this was helpful to you. If you did find it helpful, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you can get my next videos on more interesting cases. And make sure you write any questions in the comment box below so that I can come back to you with an answer if there's anything I could add of value to your learning curve. And thank you.